given their pre-assessment, I'll kind of identify what you know, what you don't know, what we need to work on. And a lot of times, um, many of my students are working below grade level. So I'll have to then look at, okay, if we're looking at a fourth grade skill, what skills in third grade do we maybe need to reteach in order to, you know, be better prepared for the fourth grade skill? Um, so then, you know, once I get through all my lessons, you know, probably the thing, I feel like the thing this year is like our lessons are always changing. So I could, I lesson plan for the week, but based on my exit ticket on Monday, my Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday lessons could be totally moved around. So I'm constantly looking at, all right, this is our exit ticket for Monday. Yes, do we get it? Okay, this group can move on. Okay, this group didn't. Now I'm going to have to reteach that one. So it's constantly, it's like, I almost shouldn't do them digitally. I should just always have them like on note cards basically moving them around because they're it's always changing and that's just driving my instruction for the next day or the next hour. It's like sometimes on the spot. With this approach of, you know, small group and really, um, you know, honing in on what each kid needs, it's really changed my approach to giving assessments. But I've also noticed it's much more um, beneficial for the kids as well as for my information. So I'm not wasting time, you know, reteaching a skill where half these kids don't need it. Like, if you've got it, let's move on. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna, you know, I'm always saying like, I don't wanna waste your time. If you've got it, then let's keep going. Yep. If you don't, then there's a reason we're gonna revisit it. Um, and I think it's also helped with um, like checking for retention. So a lot of the students I work with will have trouble retaining a skill, you know, two weeks from now or, so I've been, Focusing a lot more recently of um, giving an assessment that, about something that we've done two weeks ago, and then it'll be like, okay, we forgot that one. We, they might have had it then, but not, as time's gone on, we're having a little trouble with it. So it's pl played a big role in um, my instruction. In addition to that, we use a lot of formative assessments to also group students based on skill and ability. Um, just within a particular lesson, a formative assessment will be given. Like an exit ticket. A formative assessment will be given. And then as a team through four and five, we kind of align the students based on the skills that they need um, rather than based on grade level.